Hey there my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video and as always I've forgotten that I'm going to have a reflection in my glasses so let's just take those off. <laughs> so as you've probably seen from the title this video is about is it a phase? I made a video a little while ago speaking about, and a little while ago I mean like before I started transitioning, speaking about is being trans a phase and the sort of like misinformation that people often get and you know the stereotypes that people think about of oh you're just gonna go in and go through this and regret it and all this kind of stuff so I thought it would be interesting to make one when I'm actually like three years into my transition and see if anything has changed but obviously you guys probably know the answer but I think it was a really good video back in the day and I kind of wanted to make it again so I am going to be reacting to myself pre Tea as well which is a fun part of this video. When was it again? How long ago was it that I made my is it just a phase video? So the video you can see in the background here is called transgender is it just a phase uh, and this was wow I didn't realize how long ago so that was May 15th 2017 so I can't math 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 I'm doing a physics degree, oh my god, I've just blanked, okay, sorry, yeah. So if that was May 15th, 2017, that's just over four years ago that I made this video called Is It Just A Phase? And I want to speak about what I spoke about in this video and see if it still holds up four years later. I know some people may say all oh, four years isn't long enough but I'm sure on this channel I'll come back in another four years, maybe ten years and we'll, you know, keep updating people on if it's just a phase. I mean I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned, I don't know if any of you guys remember when I used to do the Milo Stewart video but I'm gonna watch it the old-fashioned way but instead I'm just gonna put the video on the screen here for you guys. <coughs> Hello my dudes, it's Laddie here and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to spe be speaking about being transgender and is it a phase? Just a disclaimer before this video, I am going... <laughs> to be fair, I still can't like get over the, the, the voice difference right now. It's actually pretty crazy hearing myself like then and hearing that level of like to make sure this video is as family friendly as possible and then to see like how my normal range sits about here so i know this is not what this video is about but seeing as we're still reacting to old me that is super interesting to hear um and i always used, I, I used to speak a bit quieter and a bit more like shine reserved oh which is really interesting to sort of hear that i've gotten way more comfortable in front of the camera and just confident and comfortable in general so let's get to the actual thing that i'm meant to be talking about so that if you're young and you're watching this video and you want to show it to uh you want to show it to your parents okay ho no one cares no one cares it's going to pass over, then maybe I'll give them some more information of what they can do to find information about p different kinds of people telling me that it's probably just a phase, that I'm in a time in my life where things are changing and I probably won't actually feel this way my entire life. Before I get to my opinion on the matter, I will just say yes. I know that around the world there have been people that have been transgender and, well, they've said that they've been transgender and then afterwards they have changed their mind and they've said, no, I'm not transgender, I'm happy in the gender that I am assigned at birth. And of course, even in my circle of friends, friends of friends, um, people who are actually down here, it's a small world, I've actually, you know, known of people that have stated very clearly that they are transgender, but afterwards they have been gone completely back to the gender that they were assigned at birth. Yeah, it's a bit harder for me to do that right now because, you know, everything. <laughs> I've had uh, all the surgeries. Not all the, what am I on about? I haven't had all, the, I've all, I've had all the surgeries I want to have, I mean. Um, and I've, I've, you know, taken testosterone. So back then I was making this video because 
I know that like people in my family and like people online and loads of people were like, oh, it's just a phase. You sh I had a lot of people telling me like not to start testosterone because it's going to be a mistake, uh, including like close people in my life, like family, I mean, um, being like, oh, it's just a phase. By the time you turn like 20, you know, in when you're like early 20s, 21, 22, you're, you know, not actually going to feel this way. I had so many people telling me that. And I've just turned 22, so my birthday was last month. Uh, it was like a few weeks ago, actually. And I've just turned 22, and I have, you know, physically transitioned. And it's not just a phase. Uh, it just isn't a phase. And some people might say, oh, testosterone ch makes you change your mind about things and makes you change your personality and therefore you don't feel like it's a phase because testosterone has changed it and if you didn't go on testosterone you probably would have already just, you know, lived your life as a woman by now and decided not to be trans. Look, I can't answer that question for anyone. I have no clue if that's what would have happened, uh, but I've transitioned and since I've transitioned I've felt more confident and happier and I've you know found myself and uh yeah so all I can say is it's not just a phase because look at look at me now <laughs> I'm like squinting into the light right now and my camera battery is low Woo I didn't prepare for this video did I it's usually parents and family that seem to state that it's a phase. Um, well, I'm 18 in a few weeks in June, and well, more than a few weeks, but I'm, I'm 18 in June, and they're like, your, your hormones are still going crazy at this point. You probably don't know what you want. A lot of the people have told me, you should just wait. You should wait or try every other method. So this is a video setting it straight for people like myself and other transgender people because yes there have been cases of people that have been that have called themselves trans at some point think there must be just something wrong with me because uh i feel this way because that's who i feel i am there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but when people are telling you oh it's probably just a phase it's probably this you do feel kind of guilty or you feel kind of wrong in feeling so definitely the way you are. The so I mean, I'm not gonna, if, if you want to watch this whole video, f I will link it down below, I'll probably put it in the iCard, feel free to go watch it. I probably still hold, you know, a lot of the same feelings, well not feelings, but you know, opinions. But then again, I have to remember that I am a, in a way, you know, privileged in the way that I am right now, as in, I don't really remember what it was like, you know, living and not passing and, uh, you know, having to bind and all these kind of things. My brain is kind of not forgotten it, but, you know, I'm so comfortable in living the way I am now that I, in, in the privileged way of passing and, you know, being on testosterone and all this kind of stuff that I kind of forget what it was like waiting and, and feeling that dysphoria. And I really do sympathize with, with people who are currently feeling that right now. And, the issue is, on top of it, when people are saying, oh, it's just a phase, this makes you question yourself even more. I think self-reflectance is really a good thing. So I waited till I was 19 to start testosterone. I told myself that I was not going to try and start anything, not like I could anyway, but before 18. And I gave myself like a year of reflectance to think, is this what is right for me? During that year, I realized I had severe dysphoria with my chest and and with my voice and presenting in public and I eventually by the end of it of the agony of dysphoria decided okay yeah this is right for me I realized look this is not a phase I've been feeling this for a few years now in terms of um knowing who I am and, and feeling the dysphoria and knowing it's dysphoria and all that kind of stuff so I went look I'm this is definitely what I want and that's when I started my transition and it's three years into my transition, four years since this video, and I can tell you it's, it's not a phase. Uh, gosh, there's uh, plenty trans people who are way, way older than me that have been on it for way longer than me that will also, you know, back up that it is not a phase. I, I feel like I'm like a youth counsellor, just sort of like, I've got my hands on my knees and I'm just like, I'm like, 
yes, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like sort of leaning down to the camera, but um, yeah, that, that's, I don't know why I'm sitting in this super awkward position right now. <laughs> The one thing I didn't know was knowledge, and so I waited, I'm a, I tried to be a logical person, kind of like trying to work out what kind of gender I was, what, on the gender spectrum. One thing I might say is a phase, is um, feeling like you need a label. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you could say that for me, being a trans man was a phase in my life, and I still kind of label myself as a trans man, but I also now don't label myself as anything. Um, my gender is possibly fluid, but I also don't know that. Uh, I'm mostly happy with just be, you know, calling myself a trans man, living my life as, you know, passing as a dude and everything, and then some days it's not that way. Um, that's not me regretting any, uh, regretting anything or thinking anything is a phase in my life, but I've gotten to the point where I, I don't I don't think see the need for all these labels and and I just want to be me and I don't like the fact that there's this whole binary gender label you know spectrum thing where you have to be either on the spectrum or off the spectrum or anything you know any label on the anything between A and B and male and female and you know whatever I just don't see the need for that in life and life would be so much easier that's the only thing I think is a phase the way that I used to think about it, the way I used to think, oh, I, I'm, you know, I need to just be a trans man and that's what I'm gonna be, so it makes it easier for people to understand. Nowadays, I don't want people to easily understand me. It's not their place to easily understand me and any of my NB and, you know, just transgender in general um, fellow peeps. Um, because it's, no one needs to understand us. And I've real that's the only thing I, is a phase is, realizing that I need to put that label on anything um, and dysphoria that's the only thing that was a phase for me I don't really get dysphoria anymore I get little bits you know what I mean uh, I have quite a small stature and a small face type thing you know so I sometimes feel like a bit of a smaller dude which can give me a bit of dysphoria and you know there's there's little little chunks of dysphoria I still get and I was gonna make a video about it um, and how my personality has changed, you know, that's a, that was a phase. There's so many things that you can count as phases of your life, but being transgender, which is an umbrella, is definitely not a phase. I still sit within that umbrella quite easily. Um, I'm definitely not cisgender, that's for sure. <laughs> so uh, that's all I have to say. The answer to that, me reacting to my old self, is no, it's, it's not a phase. And the reason why I sort of um, wanted to make this video <laughs> That's cool. I just filmed like a whole segment, didn't even press record. After I sneezed, the camera turned off and I didn't even press record again. That's okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so I wanted to have a look through my comment section and look at a few comments on here because there was a few interesting comments. I mean, the first one that I kind of wanted to mention is this one. Male or female, help me please, I'm Russian. I will turn off this video because it looks gay. <laughs> My Russian kind of sounds like Borat, just like ignore it. But like, <laughs> just, I mean, I don't like read or speak Russian, so I don't know the name of this person. But um, I will turn the video off because it looks gay. <laughs> I just thought that was entertaining. We'll move on. So there's one person who says, it is though. So, you know, there's, there's plenty of people and there's some other people who say, is it really advisable going on testosterone and hormones and things like this for all the people that might, it might be a phase for and how like hormones can possibly change? There is, look, you can think it's a phase if you want, but I don't, I don't care if you think it's a phase. And I don't think half of the trans people who are just trying to make their way through figuring out what they're feeling and whether they want to start a transition also care or should care if you think it's a phase because it's none of your damn business. And it follows on with uh, this comment. I really appreciate your thought process on making sure you're trans. I really wish more young people had similar thoughts and opinions as you. Seems there are a lot of young people making rash decisions. As a lot of you guys probably already know, I'm a big advocate for making sure you're sure, <laughs> basically, because look, when you do anything that's permanent or, or not easily reversible on your own body, like whether it be tattoos or 
plastic surgery or piercings or just anything you know I think it's you need to really sit down and think about it and I spent men a lot of time thinking whether this was right for me and as I explained earlier I obviously came to the conclusion that it was right for me I've only known since I was what 16 17 and there's a comment on here that says I was trans I've known I was transgender since I was nine and I've identified as a male for two years and look I've only known I was trans since I was 16 or 17 but you know I've, I've been transitioning for three years now as in physically transitioning I you know knew I was trans for about five years before this maybe six years so for me look it back then when people used to say to me oh yeah but is it a phase though but i think it might be a phase because you know a lot of these kind of things are a phase like i just didn't need to hear that i already had loads of my own questions i was personally already being very safe with checking this was what was right for me and i understand some of the questions that people gave they thought it was for my own good as in they thought they were helping me make sure this was the right decision for me but I don't think it's the way to go about it. You should never go up to some random person and be like, yeah, I think it's a phase, or it could be a phase, or, you know, you being this could be a phase, because it's saying that they're, it's really dismissing their, what they're saying their feelings are. And, okay, look, maybe if you're really close to someone, you could sit them down and say, do you think this is what you're going to feel long term? And have a discussion about their feelings. However, the, is it a phase thing is not the way to go about it. So that's the video, basically. I don't have to say much else. It's not a phase. Maybe for some people it could be a phase. For me, no. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Anyway, I want to say please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed at this point in the video, what are you doing? I'm so entertaining. Uh, the way I said that was so obnoxious and I realised some people will be like, no, I do not want to subscribe to this piece of trash. <laughs> I think I have something in my eye. This is the quality content you guys get if you subscribe. <laughs> so, yeah, end of the video. Thanks. Subscribe. Click like. Uh, notifications bell because you want to see my future videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see. I have so many cool ideas. Look, I, I'm artwork videos, writing videos, also maybe some science videos. I was gonna do a video about aliens, about the probability of alien life and extraterrestrial life existing in the universe, which is a lot of maths by the way. <laughs> <laughs> where we could do some rocket things. I'm building a robot. His name is Roger. He is my only friend. Maybe I could do a video showing you guys my process with the building from scratch to end. Uh, I could do some biology videos to do with being transgender. Maybe I could speak about the biology behind personalities and how they change from when you're on estrogen to when you're on testosterone, whether technically transitioning changes you as a person or you know the neurological pathways in the brain and how they interact when you're transgender there are so many cool things i could do i want to let i want you guys to inspire me in the comments down below let me know the kind of things you would like me to do whether they be fitness science whatever more transition and, and you know transgender stuff and awareness things so many cool ideas I want for my channel over summer. I'm feeling really inspired. Thank you guys for watching. And before I ramble on too much, I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>